Hey everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you, how to create a cool neon music visualizer, using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Before proceeding further, please be sure, to drop a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel, for more such tutorials. So, without any further ado, let's get started. First, we will download the brick wall background, from Unsplash. Link to download will be in description. Now, open your code editor, and create an HTML file. Use the link tag, to include our CSS file. In the body, create a div element, with class as BG. Create another div, with class as Triangle Container. We will use SVG elements, to draw the triangles. Create a SVG element, with class as triangle. Set its width, and height to 700. Set the value of viewbox attribute to, 0 pixels starting x and y coordinates, and 700 pixels width and height. Inside the SVG element, create a polygon element, where we'll pass a set of 3 points, to its points attribute. The first set of coordinates will be, 350, which is 50% of the width, and 105, which is 15% of the width. Next set of coordinates would be, 700 and 700, which are 100% of the width. The last set of coordinates will be 0, and 700, where the latter is 100% of the width. Now, repeat this SVG element, 6 more times, with each time, decreasing the width and height by 100, and adjusting the coordinates accordingly. Now, create an audio element, which will play the audio. Use a script tag, to include our JavaScript file. Our HTML is ready. Let's move to the CSS. Do a quick CSS reset. For the BG class, set width to 100 view width. Set height to 100 view height. Set position to absolute. Set top, and left to zero. Set background image to URL of the brick wall image. Set filter to, grayscale, with 100% value. Use the brightness filter, with 0.05 as value. 
Set background repeat to no repeat. Set Z index to minus 1. For the triangle container class, set width to 100 view width. Set height to 100 view height. Set position to relative. Set display to flex. Set justify content to center. For the triangle class, set fill to transparent. Set stroke width to 12. Set overflow to visible. Set position to absolute. Set top and left to 50%. Set transform to translate minus fifty per cent minus fifty per cent. Set stroke line join to round. Set stroke to black. For the elements with both triangle and active classes, set stroke to neon pink color. Set filter to drop shadow, 0 pixels XY offset, 50 pixels blur, and color to same as that of stroke. For all the even numbered elements, with triangle and active classes, set stroke to neon blue color. Use the same parameters for this drop shadow. Now we will center each of the triangle elements horizontally, and vertically. For the triangle class's last child, set transform to, translate, minus 50%, zero. Please note that we have to keep the X translation constant for each of the element. For the second last child, set Y translation to minus 34.5%. For the third last child, set Y translation to minus 46%. For the fourth last child, set Y translation to minus 51.5%. For the fifth last child, set Y translation to minus 55%. For the sixth last child, set Y translation to minus 57.5%.
for the seventh last child, set Y translation to minus 59%. Our CSS is ready. Let's move to JavaScript. Let's select all the triangle elements, using documents query selector all method. Declare a change variable, with default value as true. Select the audio element, using query selector. Set the src property to url of your song. Let's load the audio using load method. Create a new audio context, which basically represents an audio processing graph. Use the context's create media element source method to create an audio source out of the audio element. Use the context's create analyzer method to create an audio node that is used to access frequency data of the audio. Connect the source to the analyzer. Connect analyzer to context's destination. Set analyzer's FFT size to 256, which determines the sample size for the FFT algorithm. Get the frequency bin count from the analyzer, which will be our buffer length. Let's create an empty, unsigned 8-bit integer array, whose length will be equal to buffer length. Now, we will write a normalize between range function, which will normalize a given value, in between given range. Return val multiplied by max minus min the whole divided by 256 plus min. Here, we are dividing by 256 because it's the count of elements in range 0 to 255 since JavaScript represents the frequency data in this range. Let's write the render frame. Let's write the render frame function where we will animate the visual Use the Windows Request Animation Frame method to call the function for next frame of animation. Use setTimeout to set the value of change variable to false after 50 milliseconds.
Use analyzers get byte frequency data method, which populates the past unsigned integer array, with the frequency data. If change variable is true, then and then only we will update the visualizer. This is to avoid any sudden flickers in the animation. Select all the elements with active class. Iterate over the array using for each method, and remove the active class, from the class list of the element. Select the element at 0th index position in data array, since it is the maximum frequency value. Normalize this value, in between the range, 0, 0,6. Since there are total of 7 triangle elements, 0 and 6 are minimum and maximum index positions in the triangle elements array. Since we want inner triangles to be illuminated for lower frequencies, we will subtract 1 plus rounded value of index from triangle elements array length. Now, add the active class to class list of element at generated index position in the triangle elements array. For the else part of the if condition, set value of change variable to true. Lastly, call the render frame function, and play method of the audio element. Here, our final project is ready. Let's see the preview. It is looking great. Since we have used CSS to style a visualizer, it is easily customizable. So, that's all for today. Hope you would have enjoyed the tutorial. Please be sure, to drop a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel, for more such tutorials. I will see you next time, till then, good luck, and peace.